Welcome back to Autism Live. We're so excited because joining us via Skype is Carrie Mallory. She is an awesome autism mom. And you can find her site on Facebook. It is Autism Will Not Define My Son. How much do we love that? Carrie is a remarkable person. And Autism Will Not Define My Son has a lot of different stuff going on this month of April. So first of all, Carrie, welcome back to the show. So great to have you here. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me back. And uh, tell people how Autism Will Not Define My Son started. Um, well, my son was diagnosed um, shortly after his second birthday with being at risk of autism. Um, and one of the big things was is that people kept telling me, don't let them put a label on him. And I decided at that point in time that nobody was going to put a label on him. He was going to be who he wanted to be and when he wanted to be it and how he wanted to be it. So he may have autism, but autism does, does not define who he is or, or anything else. And it's a remarkable page. Honestly, Carrie, you have so much information about so many different things, and it's a very uplifting page. We want to encourage everybody to go to Facebook. Autism will not define my son. And you've got a bunch of different events that are coming up this month. Tell, some, tell the folks at home some of the different things that you guys are doing. Yes. Um, the first thing, uh, the biggest thing that, that, we're, that we have going on right now is We've joined forces with Inc. for Autism. Uh, Jack Scorhod, he's out of Canada. He started this campaign, Inc. for Autism, about three years ago when his son Lincoln was diagnosed. And he went, simply got a, a little puzzle piece tattoo, and then he realized how many more people wanted autism tattoos. And three years ago, he started this Inc. for Autism campaign. It started with 18 shops in the United States and Canada, and they raised $2,400. Um, the next year, they went up to 130 tattoo shops, including uh, the UK, Australia, Romania, Canada, and the US, and they raised over $20,000 for autism. Amazing. And then this year, they have over 220 shops out of 11 countries that are all involved in the Ink for Autism campaign. And so your particular Ink for Autism campaign, where will that be? Uh, Lady Luck Tattoo in Phoenix, Arizona, they're downtown Phoenix. Heather and Marge are the owners of the shop, and Heather actually has a daughter who is an adult on the spectrum. And when I originally um, went last year looking for tattoo shops to team up with, there were so many shops that you know kept saying, well, what's in it for me? What do we get out of it? And when I went to uh, Lady Luck Tattoo, Heather was like, okay, we're on board. She didn't ask one question. She's like, we'll donate all the profits, um, all of our time. And it's, we've been teamed up with her. This will be our second year with Lady Luck Tattoo. And so if somebody wants to participate, what do they need to do? Um, they can go to my website at www.autismwillnotdefinemyson.com. And just um, you can either sign up for a pre-made tattoo, which are $68 in honor of the 1 in 68. Um, or you can design your own custom tattoo. And... With the help of Heather and Marge, they will get you a quote for your actual tattoo and time and size and color and wherever you want it done. But if you go to the website, um, you can have uh, request an appointment, and then we'll send you a hold time, and then you pay your $40 deposit, and then go from there. Okay, really remarkable. And again, this is raising money for autism. But you've got some other events that are coming up. I know I was looking at your page this morning, and you had something about owls, origami owls. <laughs> Um, a fellow autism mom, her name is Rosa. I actually met her through my autism page. Um, she is teamed up with Origami Owl, and they're actually based here out of Phoenix. It's a young girl, 18 years old, who went to her parents and said, hey, um, can you buy me a car? And they said, no, you need to earn it yourself. So she started this company, and it's jewelry-based, and they've got all kinds of little charms and little lockets, but um, they have an autism puzzle piece, um, and Rosa is one of their um, distributors. So she's teamed up with me and we're doing this uh, Origami Owl Autism Fundraiser starts today and it's gonna go through the end of, end of April. Okay, really um, And she's donating 50% of all sales to Connor's Walk team. And April's a, an intense month for you guys and you've got, you've got t-shirts and you've got all different kinds of things, ways people can participate. And you have some events later on in the year. I understand you've got a bingo night. 
Yeah, last year we did a uh, bingo night 80 style because it was at the time it was one in 88. So we had 80s style and um, we had people dress up in 80s garb and we had 80s music playing the entire time. Love it. So that was pretty fun. Um, we also had a strikeout um, autism only fundraiser. We plan on doing that again, uh, middle to end of September of this year. And then the t-shirts and the vehicle window stickers, that's an ongoing thing. Okay. Um, I actually just got word about a half an hour ago from my friend at C3 Kitchen in the Scottsdale Quarter that they're also going to team up and help us with the fundraiser this year. But I don't have details on that yet. Okay, cool. Well, we'll look forward to that. We'll have you back on to talk about that. But again, if people want to know more information, they can go to your website or they can go to the Facebook page. Which, which do Correct. you prefer they start at or doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so autism will not define my son dot com or Facebook autism will not define my son. So uh, yeah. remarkable. We're we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to talk with Carrie about. She sent a beautiful letter earlier this week that just really touched my heart. So don't go away. Stick with us. Welcome back to Autism Live. We are talking with awesome autism mom, Carrie Mallory. She is uh, talking to us from Arizona via Skype. Uh, Carrie, so thrilled to have you here. And, and you know that I just think the world of you. I think you're one of those awesome moms that's just getting it done, that you, you know, you, you had your son in a, in a situation where you realize, okay, I need to put some time and effort into this. And, and you've done that, but you've also already found the way to give back to the community. And that's remarkable. That takes most of the rest of us many more years than it's taken you. So first of all, I have to say kudos to you and we think you're Thank remarkable. You. But you Thank sent you. you sent me a letter this week that just really touched me because I, I will be honest, and I've, I said a little bit about this on the show before, that over the weekend um, and at the end of last week, there was a lot of stuff on Facebook from our autism community that, that I was not proud of. There was just a lot of mudslinging and people saying, don't support this, and you know, I'm all about acceptance, so don't support this autism organization. Um, and it made me sad. It made me really sad. And I got your letter and I thought, ah, oh, it's a mom who gets it. And um, you know, I, I don't want to. I don't want to read the whole letter here because um, you know it's not. It, it's your letter to share, but basically, you in the letter say, "I understand that there are people who don't agree with certain things and are not big supporters of certain things, but you talk about your personal experience as a parent and and your personal experience with Autism Speaks and what it has done for you. And I think it's a story that more people need to hear about. So if you could just tell us why you support Autism Speaks, what they've done for you, and why you continue to support Autism Speaks. Well, when Connor was first diagnosed uh, being at risk, you know, I was like any other mother, and I went into shock, not thinking that he was going to be able to do the things that, you know, normal kids do. Um, and I had my couple days of just being in bed under the covers. And one day, I get a phone call from this lady from Autism Speaks named Amy Hummel. And I didn't know what to expect. And about half hour, 45 minutes later, I went from wanting to just stay under the covers to, okay, what do I do now? Where do I go? And what do I do with all this information that Amy just gave me? And I honestly don't remember the words that she said to me, but whatever it was, it was the spark that I needed to get out of bed and to do something for my son because she made me realize that being under the covers, it, it wasn't gonna help him and that I needed to do something that was gonna help him. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, that's pretty much where and why, you know, my dedication to Autism Speaks has, has come on board. Um, I immediately signed up for the walk and started, um, you know, raising funds for the walk. I was asked to join the walk committee my first year. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, didn't know what to expect on my first walk to begin with. And then as I went into the second year, I learned more and more about what Autism Speaks does and where the money goes and who it benefits. And there's a, uh, an agency here called SARC, 
um, Southwest Autism Research and Resource Center. And come to find out half of the money that we raise at the walk here in Phoenix goes to SARC to support families and help with research. And it, it stays here locally in our community. And then there's other, the other 50% you know, is available for other agencies such as Hope Group and, you know, all, all these other agencies that they can request grants from Autism Speaks to try and keep more of that money here locally. And when I heard that, I, I was amazed, you know, because I kept hearing about so many people just bashing Autism Speaks about where does the money go, where does the money go, well, why don't they ask? Yeah. You know, I asked and they told me and I was amazed. Yeah, and, and you detail being able to go to SARC and see the facility and, and as a parent just being so uplifted by what's happening there. And it really, really touched me. And I, I, I have to say that I appreciate you so much because I think sometimes somebody says something and then a whole bunch of people jump on the bandwagon. We've seen that happen with so many other things with autism, where a study comes out and they say, oh, you know, this works or this doesn't work. And people jump on the bandwagon without looking at what it really is and 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 you put some facts uh, together and said you know here's I'm a real parent this is how it's affected me this is how it affects my community uh, and I I appreciate that you say everyone's entitled to their opinion but you should know the facts right well, Carrie, I just think what you do is remarkable. I think um, you're a, a really courageous woman. We want to encourage people. Your walk is coming up in October, and people can join your Connor's team and donate mm -hmm. to Connor's team, correct? Yes. Can they do that on your website? Yes, there's okay. a spot on the website to, to join the team as a walker or to make a donation. There you go. And you can also participate in any one of the events that she was talking about before or buy a t-shirt. And all of the money that you raise goes to Connor's team for the walk, correct? Correct, yes. It's really amazing. And uh, I, I, we were talking during the break that you were hoping to get out to Los Angeles this year for the LA Walk. And you can't because you've got your own events going on. But I hope yes. that, that uh, next year we can coordinate with you, Carrie, and have you come for the LA Walk because I, I think uh, it would be really exciting to have you here. That, that would be awesome. I would look forward to it. Very cool. Well, please give your child a big hug from all of us here at Autism Live, and thank you so much for being with us. I will. Thank you, Shannon. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Really remarkable mom. I have to say, I just admire her so much. Uh, she has been somebody who's contributed uh, to our conversation here at Autism Live in so many ways on so many different occasions. And uh, she gives me inspiration. Uh, you know, whenever we hear people and all the bickering and the backstabbing and whatever, hers is a clear voice of let's keep moving. Let's keep moving and let's do what's right for our kids. Absolutely adore her. All right, we're going to take a break and we'll be back with more of Autism Live after these messages. <laughs> 